It's funny how the whole landscape changes after snowfall. When I was in this area last summer, I was looking for trees that I that I thought would suit winter landscape. And uh, this is one of the trees that I found last summer. And it just took me ages to get back and find this tree. And now I finally found it. And the idea I had last summer is that if I got really low, you covered the whole front with just snow. And this tree right here just sticks up. So I set up the camera down here. I'm using the GH5 with the uh, 100 to 300 millimeter lens because I, I need that zoom to get the tree isolated. I really, really like it. But as I said, it, it took ages to find it. It's still Christmas. I'm still up in Vingland uh, celebrating the Christmas with Chastis, my wife's side of the family. And today, it's I think it's the fourth day of Christmas. We're approaching New Year and uh, I figured I would take the day and go out and do some photography. Today it's probably minus two degrees, but there's a gale blowing, which makes it really much colder than it was the last time I was here, which was two days ago when it was minus 13 degrees. So I, I won't stay here too long because it's already my fingers are starting to get a bit frosty. So I need to get going. I just want to show you that first tree that I found last summer. But the plan now going forward is to head up to that hill over there where the landscape opens up and see what I can find. Hopefully it's not too foggy, but we won't know that until we get there. So, really glad I got the opportunity to make a second video from this uh, winter wonderland. I just, I, I just, I just love it. I, I love the snow. Hope you enjoy it and uh, hopefully I'll find some more compositions during the day. We'll see, we'll see. I'm slowly making my way up the hill and I found another composition and I really really like it and the uh, word of the day is isolation if you can see here uh, it might get a bit windy but I will I will try to explain it the best I can but I'm gonna turn around now and it might get windy all right so this is the scene and as you can see the large tree in front that's the main subject but there are also trees further behind to create depth in the composition and what i do is that i pinpoint the focus on the first tree and then i shift the focus to the remaining trees so i can get the whole scene in focus what i really like about it is what i said is the isolation it's windy it's uh, it's all white it's almost no texture in the snow and there are these spots of interest going further inwards into the composition and it just gives at least me it gives me a sense of isolation and the snow really adds to that it just completely devoids the the entire composition of thing that distracts is all you can see are the the uh, moody sky and the, and, and the trees uh, pointing up from the snow 
I'm using a fast enough shutter speed so the trees won't be blurry in the wind. So I'm making sure that the tree is sharp and uh, after that I'm just I shift the focus towards the trees. I've been here now for 10 minutes taking the picture and I'm starting to get really cold. I'm using my nose to turn the camera on and off because the touch screen with the glows uh, <laughs> doesn't work that well. I found a technique using my nose. So I'm going to head inwards through the composition and uh, I'll check if it's foggy. And if it's foggy I might turn back and see if I can find something on the way back to the car. I think I've reached the point where I'm deciding to head back to the car because the wind is picking up speed, it's much more barren up here and being that it's minus 2-3 degrees, maybe 4 or 5, it's starting to get a bit cold with this wind. So I'm heading back down, but before I'm heading back down, I just want to quickly show you the composition I found just behind me. And it's that little birch tree sticking up from the ground. It's a really small birch tree. Almost, it looks almost like a bush now with the old snow. And the, uh, given that the bush is so small, it doesn't clip the uh, hill behind it. And behind the hill, it's that really dark, moody sky as well. Given that it's no color, it's uh, no interest in the sky. It's uh, no interest in the snow. It's just the birch, the line of the hill behind it. And I think it works really well. So I'm gonna take that image and then I'm just gonna head back down to the car and get, get myself home for dinner and grab a warm shower and be with the fireplace a bit. It's been an absolutely beautiful day and I love being out in the wind and the snow and the cold. I love winter. This is, this is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Either way, I'm happy you tagged along and uh, Happy New Year. I'll probably hear this after New Year's Eve, so that doesn't make any sense. Take care, stay safe. Uh, Harde fit, alle sammen, så ses vi litt. Oldbjørn, ut!